Nine minutes past nine o'clock. Now, little girls, hands over ears, please, because this will break your heart. Go on, cover them up. As a child, did you ever think there was a lot more going on at the bottom of your garden than your parents let on? I'm not just talking about what went on in the shed. Were you convinced as soon as you turned your back, the fairies would come out to play? If you grew up on Enid Blyton... You're with me here, aren't you? A recent discovery in Derbyshire has ignited childhood fantasies across the country. Listen to this. A mummified remains of a fairy complete with wings, skin and teeth was found and put on the internet. Now, it later turned out to be an elaborate hoax, but what a hoax. The man behind it all was Dan Baines. Hello there, Dan. Hi there. Good morning. And it turned into a nice little learner for you, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, it paid for my uh, internet costs anyway, That it co- uh, with the amount of hits I was getting on the website, the, the site almost went down, so uh, it's kind of a broke evens. Now, I hear you're something of a serial April fooler. Um, not r- not really. Uh, it's only the first one I've done, but um, I have lots more in store for the next few years. All oh, right, so it's addictive, is it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What gave you the idea for this one? Because it's it's frighteningly um, realistic. I've seen it on the internet site. Yeah. Well, a bit of background, really, in me. Um, I design tricks for magicians from all over the world. They'll approach me with an idea for a trick, and I'll cre- create it for them. And uh, through my ju- through, through this kind of, kind of a hobby, I meet lots of um, you know strange people, weird and wonderful people. And one of them in Florida, he designs or, and builds what's called Fiji mermaids, which are they used to show them in Victorian times at freak shows. Um, they used to say that the sailors had brought them back from tropical locations, and they were half monkey, half fish, um, like taxidermied together, you know, very dodgily to make it look like a mermaid. And he made one of these the other year and um, said he found it on a beach in Florida. And that sparked quite an internet frenzy. I think I saw that in the papers. It was the weirdest looking thing. Yeah, it was one of those. And, you know, we sort of email each other and talk to each other. And he just got, he sort of planted the seed in my head, really. I had an idea of building something myself like it. Although I'm no good at taxidermy, so I had to find another way to do it. So it was more of an experiment at first. So I did, I built it first of all, and it looked so realistic that I thought, you know, I've got to do something with this. And I picked the fairy, because obviously Derbyshire is nowhere near the sea. So I thought, what's something that is quite prominent in Derbyshire folklore? And fairies was one of them. So a fairy it was, stuck some wings on it, and took it up to Derby in a biscuit tin and photographed it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that you've got this elaborate story about how a walker, you know, happened across a little hole in the ground and there were more of these things in there. Yeah. And you've also got this picture and it looks like a, you know, like a mummy, like the sort of mummies you'd see in the British Museum. It's, it does, actually, yeah. it, it's tiny. Yeah. The skin is pulled back so you can see, you know, the skull underneath. Yeah. How do you manage that? It must be so intricate. Um, it wasn't hugely difficult. Uh, I mean, if I, I can sort of reveal that it's not an actual monkey that some people have said it is on the internet. Because some people think it's a real skeleton, it's a skeleton of something real. Yeah, they thought it was an actual baby monkey that I, I don't know where I would have got it from. Stapled wings on it or something. From the zoo or something. Um, yeah, it's actually a plastic skeleton um, covered in, I suppose, paper mache would be the best description for it. But obviously there's a few other little bits that I've modelled on there and to get the, the actual colour correct and to get the hair on there is quite difficult and it took it took about a week to do. So it's not as easy as it looks. A week though? That doesn't seem very very long at all. It didn't look easy. I was, I was just marvelling at the fact it looked like um, dead leaves really. That's that's the way I can say it. Dead leaves basically. So what, the skin is made from dead leaves is it? No, no. The, uh, the skin is just made from tissue paper um, but the wings are actual dead leaves, you know, the leaf skeleton yeah. you can buy. They're just those that I've arranged in a kind of wing shape and actually stuck them on the back. Which so is, uh, I mean, just that itself spawned quite a lot of things on the internet saying that, you know, we don't see fairies anymore because they've evolved and adapted to their environment. So they actually look like leaves, a bit like the way that butterflies and stick insects can blend in with their environment. So Were you surprised at just how many people really wanted to believe that this was a, 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 the mummy of a fairy? I was, yeah. It really snowballed rap- so rapidly, it was unbelievable. And be honest, did most of your interest come from America? Yes. <laughs> It did, and it still is coming from America, even though I've revealed it's a hoax. They don't believe you, do they? No, they don't. Um, on my email, I was getting that many emails, I, I had to put a, an automated response on there that emailed them back with quite a 
a nice email that actually tells them that it's not real, it's a hoax, and it kind of lets them down gently. So as soon as they send me an email, they get this response, and then they respond back to that saying, you know, it's got to be real, it's so realistic, and I mean, it spawns some conspiracy theories as well already. But. Just goes to show that actually you can tell people the truth, but they will still want to carry on believing. And to be honest, there's no harm in that, is there? No, no, it's all, it's, you know, it's great, it's... Uh, the way you know you can see it evolve from just one initial idea and it's just it's spread into so many different things it's great it's really, yeah. now talk to me about the money you made though because i mean that is a problem if they bought that thing on false pretenses did they know that it was real when they they was it wasn't real rather when they no, no. i mean it? obviously there's on on ebay and uh, auction sites there's strict rules to say that you can't mislead anyone and i would never mislead anyone anyway so at the bottom it does actually say you know this fairy is not genuine it's just a very well crafted piece of artwork and the actual winning bidder was an art collector anyway so uh he's asked me to make more <laughs> <laughs> so i hear now are you planning to do that and what happens next is this the end of fairy folk for you is it moving on to something else or? no um i i have a, a website where i sort of display all the magic um tricks that i've created and i've actually secured the web space now for another website which is devoted to the whole derbyshire fairy hoax and story and i will make more i mean i've got enough parts now for i've got i'm building four more at the moment all in various positions and uh so they'll be advertised on the website now uh, and people can go and view them on there okay so. you better give us the website so we can just have a look at them because it's a remarkable thing yeah well the website isn't actually up yet but if you um go to the best place to go really is just go onto google yeah and type in dead fairy derbyshire and every single hit on the first page is about the fairy Thank you very much, Dee, for talking to us, Dan. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Doesn't do any harm to a bit of a sense of wonder, does it? Dan Bain's there. See, when they told them it was a fake, people still they, trying to... People want to believe what they want to believe, don't they? <laughs> and many Americans. What a shocker, eh? <laughs> That's Hearts and Bucks Travel News.